What's going on guys? All right, so here is the deal. With this whole COVID-19 thing happening, I am currently self-isolating. So this video is going to be audio recorded, but I promise you will see my face again very, very soon. I appreciate the support, but for now, let's keep things light and let's get into today's list. As you guys know, the world is in a pandemic right now after the coronavirus started to spread worldwide. The virus is spreading quickly through humans and is defined as an upper respiratory infection. The symptoms are similar to a cold or flu, so unless you are tested, it can be hard to tell if you actually have the COVID-19 virus. But sadly for the people on today's list, they got tested and it came back positive. Thanks for joining me on Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I am your host for this one. I'm Josh Bedard, and today I am dishing out the latest update on 10 celebrities who caught this horrible virus. Make sure you stick around to the end because yes, I will still be handpicking some of your comments and responding to them, but unfortunately, there will not be bloopers, but I promise I will probably still mess up. Starting us off at number 10 is Daniel Rugani. The Italian soccer star tested positive for the virus at just 25 years old. TMZ Sports announced his diagnosis saying that he is currently asymptomatic, but anyone who he's had contact with in recent weeks have also been quarantined for safety precautions. Among many others, this list includes his teammate Cristiano Ronaldo, who has not personally tested positive, but is also isolated so that he doesn't catch the virus. It was a big deal for Italy since he played for their national team and he's actually the first player in their top league to catch it. The team still continued with practice after his confirmed testing, but that was until Italy went on a nationwide lockdown and all sports have been suspended until April 3rd. Up next, number nine is Sophie Trudeau. This was big news over here for us Canadians because she is the wife of our prime minister, Justin Trudeau. So for obvious reasons, our country was concerned for his health as well, seeing as it's wildly contagious and they are in close corners and probably share a kiss or two. After she tested positive for coronavirus, the prime minister made it a point to reassure the country that she is going to be okay and that he is feeling fine. He issued a statement saying she is feeling well, is taking all the recommended precautions and her symptoms remain mild. As for himself, he says he doesn't have any of the symptoms and is feeling totally fine. They both have been quarantined inside their home for safety precautions, but his office confirmed he will continue to fulfill all of his duties as prime minister and has been holding his meetings over the phone. Phone. Swiping our number eight spot is Rudy Gobert. This is a fine example of karma coming back for you. The NBA player was doing a press conference after a game and started poking fun at the virus, touching all the microphones on purpose and making jokes about it. But just two days later, he tested positive for it. Following the announcement of his diagnosis, the NBA announced that they would be suspending the current season. As a result, all five teams who have played against Rudy, including the Cleveland Cavaliers, New York Knicks, Boston Celtics, Detroit Pistons, and Toronto Raptors were all instructed to self-quarantine. Now, I don't wish bad karma on anyone, especially in this case, but that is kinda what you get for touching all those microphones. In spot number seven is Donovan Mitchell. He was Rudy's teammate who got the virus not long after he did, becoming the second NBA player to have it. They suspect that he got it because Rudy was being careless in the locker room in terms of touching other players and their belongings, even though that they were given warnings about the severity of the situation. Mitchell spoke out for the first time recently on Instagram since he tested positive to thank all of those who have reached out to him since the news broke. He updated his fans through a video saying that he feels fine and is in isolation. Overall, he seems fine and he's playing video games all day, which for a lot of people doesn't sound all that bad. Rolling into the number six spot is Paulo Dybala. The soccer star kept insisting that he was feeling fine after reports said he tested positive for coronavirus. But after the news broke, he immediately started denying the claims and the Italian club also denied the rumors. He wasn't the first soccer player to test positive for it. So the Serie A was suspended for a while after Italy was put down in a full lockdown. His teammate, Daniel Rugani, was the first player to test positive and he shared a dressing room with him. So it just kind of makes sense that this might happen. He was put in isolation and posted on social media saying, hello everyone. I wanted to confirm that I am well and in voluntary isolation. Thank you for all the messages and I hope you are well. Hashtag no fake news. He is claiming that he did not test positive for the virus, but isolated himself for safety precautions after his teammate tested positive. 
However, the reports are saying that he tested positive. So, not really sure. We're halfway through at number five and we have Mikel Arteta. The football coach tested positive for the coronavirus and the club's next scheduled game was postponed immediately for obvious reasons. The Gunners closed their training ground and any club staff who had recent contact with him was told to self-isolate themselves. He spoke about his diagnosis publicly and said, this is really disappointing. I took the test after feeling poorly. I will be at work as soon as I am allowed. The club is still trying to discuss future strategies moving forward. We're here now at number four and we have Janet Broderick. She is the older sister of actor Matthew Broderick and is also known for being a popular public figure to the All Saints Church in Beverly Hills. She's 64 years old and became Came ill after attending a conference in Louisville, Kentucky. The church said that she initially received treatment for viral symptoms, but was later admitted into the ICU where she tested positive for COVID-19. Her symptoms quickly got worse and she is being treated for a severe form of pneumonia. The church did make a public statement on her behalf saying, she is receiving the best medical care available and her doctor's prognosis is for a complete and full recovery. She later released her own statement and said that she is thankful for the prayers and the support. In our third spot is Callum Hudson Odie. The soccer star was diagnosed with the virus and recently announced that he has recovered from it. His team has been in isolation since finding out the results, but his recovery was quick. Yay, that gives me a lot of hope for this world. He posted a video on Twitter and started by saying, hi guys, as you may be aware, I've had the virus for the last couple of days, which I've recovered from. He explained that he is following the health guidelines and self-isolating himself for another week to make sure that he doesn't spread any kind of germs or bacteria. The team released a statement saying that those who have come into close contact with him are also self-isolating themselves and will return to work, hopefully, within another week. Taking over the number two spot is Nadine Dorries. The health minister has become the first MP to be diagnosed with the virus and reports say she may have gotten it from the reception they held, promoting concerns about the spread of it. She's been the conservative MP for mid Bedfordshire since 2004 and also a best-selling author of fiction novels. The Department of Health and Social Care confirmed that she tested positive for the infection and announced that the identity of the person who infected her is unknown. They have been focusing on tracking down who it could be and testing the potential people she came in contact with in the past week. But that is hundreds of people, obviously given her profession. They are mainly concerned with testing people in the parliament and of course the rest of the health department. All right, guys, we have made it to number one and we have Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson. The 63 year old actor revealed through Instagram that he and his wife both tested positive for coronavirus. Tom was in Australia doing pre-production work for the new Elvis Presley project, which is coming out in 2021. Fingers crossed that that is still happening. Production for the movie has been put on hold since the actor and his wife, who was there with him, have been hospitalized and placed under quarantine. He explained in his post that they are not feeling well and are experiencing just standard flu-like symptoms, such as fever, chills, and body aches. He posted a picture of a surgical glove in a disposal garbage bag and explained the situation and wished well on everyone else. Tom has promised to keep their fans informed and both of their sons, Chet and Colin Hanks, also announced on their social media that they would share updates on their parents' health. So if you want to stay in the loop, go and follow those peeps. All right, guys, that is our top 10 list. But as promised, I will still be responding to some of your comments. Movie Man 909 says, what happened to Lucy? All I see now is Joss and that one guy now. All right, guys, I know you guys are confused. Yes, it is me and Johnny. Johnny has just been helping me out on the channel. Lucy is still around. Don't fret. She is here. Beezer1225 says, have you ever regretted a tweet, Joss? Honestly? No, um, that's because I don't have Twitter. However, my Facebook memories often remind me that I regret a lot of my other posts. That's for sure. I'm listening says, did it hurt to get the belly button jewel? Yes, I will not lie to you. A belly button piercing is extremely painful. I fainted. It was one of the worst experiences of my life and I would not do it again. Crimson Carson says, Jocelyn looks like Katniss Everdeen, the main character from The Hunger Games. So you think I look like Jennifer Lawrence? I mean, I love her. So that's a huge compliment to me. I personally don't see the connection, but I will take it regardless. All right, guys, make sure you fire the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. I know that I can't see you and you can't see me, but I promise we will be filming a regular soon. And also make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell so you never miss another video. I appreciate your support during all this time and I wish you all well and please stay safe out there. Bye. We'll be